I uh, used to travel a lot before the internet, before smartphones. And um, back then you had to call a travel agent or um, get paper tickets. Um, only open Monday to Friday, five days a week. So now everything is so easy with the apps and you can book and fix everything. But what if you realize that you just forgot your bag? Today's topic is customer service. My wristwatch is broken. My shoes are untied. Time is a ticking. A couple of weeks back, so I was on this flight. And as they turned the seatbelt sign off, I reached for my computer. And there on the screen for login, it said C. Walker uh, with a picture of a dog. And uh, of course, my name is not C. Walker. Uh, and I don't have a dog avatar. So there I am on this flight with someone else's computer. And uh, of course, that means that someone else has my computer. What do you do in a situation like that? I was like, you know, trying to reverse the tape. And, and I realized, yeah, security. We must have mixed up in security. So I called the flight attendant and I tried to explain the situation. But she started to talk about how she could not confirm names on a passenger list. And I said, you don't have to. You can just call for a passenger who has the wrong computer. But, you know, she had sandwiches to serve or something. So, so I started to walk the whole, from first to last row, you know, showing everybody, all passengers, this computer, calling for the name C. Walker. And they looked at me, maybe not as a dangerous person, but, a, you know, a freak at least. In the end of the flight, I realized that, you know, no, he's not on this, on this flight. Uh, so when we touched down, I got into to Oslo, I did some research and I realized that out of this small airport at the same time approximately, there was another flight to Stansted. And I did some more calling, some talking to, to airline people, but they were all talking about rules, GDPR and, you know, how they could not do this. I had to report to some lost and found department somewhere. Um, but then I found London Stansted on Twitter. So I you know, just took a chance and I tweeted them. And thank God, on the other side of that tweet, I mean, out there in cyberspace was another human being, a person that saw his or her opportunity to not only do their job and, and push and market stands at airport, but actually to help another human being. Like every fairy tale, this, this story had a happy ending. So, so we managed to exchange computers. I'm in Trondheim, and yesterday I was speaking on the topic of customer-centric cultures in the digital age. And I think it's kind of um, awkward and funny and interesting that in this day and age where everything is uh, so focused on new technology, a lot of uh, chatbots and AI and um, smartphone apps and all these things, it's almost like we forget about the human touch. I mean, of course you need all that. I, as a customer, expect you to, to serve me with new technology. But with that, you will free up a lot of time from your employees so that they have more opportunities to be more human, to be creative, to be uh, uh, bold enough to even break the protocol. I mean, and technology will never break the rules. An AI or an algorithm will do exactly like you program them to do. That's the point of it all. It's not one or the other. It's not technology or, no, we do it the old way with, with human beings. Technology will give us the new stuff, and then we have more opportunity to be more human. That's the whole point of it all. And human beings can be creative, they can uh, break the protocol, they can break the rules even, uh, if you uh, create that kind of culture. So then it's a question of culture. How do you create that kind of culture, a customer-centric culture? Well, of course, then it has to do with incentives and mandate. How do you incentivize and what kind of mandate? Why do people come in in the morning? What's, what's the purpose of the work they're doing? I mean, if, if they have a lot of new free time, to me, it's obvious they have opportunities here to be more human, to do even more of that thing that technology cannot do. So to me, this is the obvious battle of the future you know, customer loyalty here. There will be hundreds of brands and companies out there with all these tech gadgets and all these apps and everything. And then there will be a few, just like stands at airport, who have employees, who have human beings, who try to come to work every day to understand other human beings. Not primarily just to push or sell or market, but to try to help them, truly help them. So 
please tell me if you have any nice reflections. If you want more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the future. I'll be okay in the sweet by